that's so bright It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day. I hope all of you guys are all safe out there. And in this video, we're going to be playing this um, this fun troll deck. If that's what you want to call it, right? I'm going to get consists of 7 spells, guys. Yes, guys, 7 spells. The Earthquake, Roar, Delivery, Poison, Fireball, Nato, Log, and the Rocket, and the Knight as your only troop in this deck. This deck is not meant for ladder or anything. It's just meant for fun and I'm looking just to troll people. But hey look if you guys want to give this deck a go please feel free to do so. But yeah guys we're going to try this deck out. And, um, but before we get into some matches I just wanted to say if you guys are new here please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of 2020 so make sure to hit that subscribe button. All it takes is for you guys to go down there and click that red subscribe button and help me reach my goal 500 subs. Make sure to leave a like in this video if you do enjoy. And other than that, guys, let's jump straight into some matches. And let's try to have fun and troll people with this 7 spell night deck. Alright then, guys. We found our first opponent here. And as, and as you guys can see, we have no troops in this deck other than the knight. But the rest is only spells, guys. Let's see what is this guy going to have. Hopefully, I can win this match with all spells. 7 spells in this deck, guys. That's crazy. 7 freaking spells. Let's see if we can pull it off, guys. You never know. You never know. I might get lucky enough with a matchup or something. We can rock it down his Hog Rider. And Roar Delivery on top of his Infernal Dragon. And yeah, guys. That should be a nice and easy defense. No damage on each side whatsoever. Unless the Infernal Dragon turns back. But no. No damage whatsoever. I didn't have the NATO in Cycle to activate King Tower with the Hog Rider. But hey. Now we know that in his next Hog Rider, we don't have to rocket down his Hog Rider. Instead, activate King Tower. And that should help us out through. I'm um, looking. Yeah, look, that should help us out throughout the game. And like, do I want to activate King Tower? Nope. I want to Fireball and then Tornado it back. Just to kill the Ice. I mean, just to kill the Wizard and kill the Balloon. And not even take off Death Damage, I believe. Yes, guys. Not even Death Damage. What? I defended that push with, um... With 7 Elixir with the Nato and Fireball. And this man wasted 9 Elixir with the Loon. And the... Uh, Loon and, and Wizard. So that was a good trade for me. But yeah. Oh, but I just remembered. We don't have our Nato and Psycho for his Hog now. Which means we have... To, oh, this guy just gave me Rocket Value all day, every day. And the Hog shouldn't get off one shot. Yes, sir. Let's go. Do I need to Roar Delivery this? Yes, I do, man. Yes, I do. Let's fire back the balloon just so the balloon doesn't get up one single shit. Whoa, what? I mean, one single shot. And yeah, guys, this is looking good right now, guys. This is looking good right now. We can log the wizard and the Valkyrie. And right now, guys, we are looking good. We, we are looking good right now, guys. We are looking good. Let's roar delivery on top of the Infernal Dragon. Now let's activate. Now let's activate King Tower. No single shot on the tower whatsoever. Let's go, man. Let's go. We can rock it down as Loon now. And yeah, guys, this this is what I've been doing the whole match. This is what I've should have been doing the whole match. Just nadoing the hog to the tower. I mean to the to the King Tower. And yeah, guys, right now. I mean, you guys might not believe it, but I am in the lead right now. I am in the lead. So that's good. NATO is Hogback and his Infernal Dragon. Fireball all that. Rocky is Balloon. <laughs> and <laughs> Let's go, man. Yeah, what is this guy doing? Why is he dropping off his wizard like that every time? What are you doing, man? Let's poison down his Valkyrie because we have nothing to drop off. And yeah, guys, if he drops off his Hog Rider, we can NATO all of that. Roar Delivery on top of all of this. NATO, Log, just so the Hog doesn't get off one single shot. The Inferno Dragon should be going down, yep. We can rocket his Balloon any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, this man just keeps on dropping off a night, a night, a night. 
What are you doing, man? We might win this match because of spells, bro. We might be able to win this match just because we are able to cycle all the spells to his tower. And yeah, please drop off your hog right now. Please drop off your hog right there. Okay. Yes, sir. What? What are you doing, man? What? Wait, the hog might get off one shot. That's going to cost us. Two shots? No. I thought I was going to get off two shots. My bad. Whew. I got scared there, bro. Let's rocket down this balloon. We can't. We can't use the rocket on, on offense. Or else the balloon just connects, man. The balloon just connects if we use the rocket on offense. Let's roar delivery on top of all this. Knight as well. Nato just so the hog doesn't get off one shot, I believe. Please tell me the hog doesn't get off one. No. Rocket down his balloon. We just have to hold off 30 more seconds, guys. 30 more seconds. I think we can do it just because we are able to cycle more spells. More and more spells. If he drops off his hog right, we can fireball all that. Yes, sir. Log it as well. Nato all of it as well. And rock it down his balloon, guys. And I think we should be able to have the game in the bag. I think we have the game in the bag, guys. I think we got it. We got it, guys. We got it. Let's, let's go. Fireball down his tower. He tries to fireball as well. We can NATO everything back. And just like that, guys, we pick up a nice and easy win against this Hog Rider deck with this 7 spell deck. Let's go. That is what we like to see, man. Alrighty, guys. We found out another opponent here. And please, man, drop off something in the back like a musketeer, executioner, sparky. What the fuck? This man is gonna go all ham already with the Expo Tesla. There can be more dirtier players in the game to use this freaking deck. Look at how much damage the Expo dealt, even though I earthquaked it and poisoned it. Yeah, this match is... My guy, why do you have to do me dirty like that already, man? If I should have had my knight in cycle there, I could have defended that easily. But this guy doesn't know that. I'm like, I have knight. So next expo, I do have my knight in rotation. And hopefully, hopefully them, look, that will be good. But for right now, look, I just want to fireball down his knight. And please drop off the expo. Please, look, yeah, please drop it off so I can knight and then rocket all of that, I think. No, Earthquake that, yeah. Look, I'm an Earthquake. And then Poison as well. And yeah, guys, this match couldn't go even better. We can even log to kill the Expo more quicker. And yeah, guys, look at that. Look at that defense was more... Um, that defense was more clean than the first one. No. Just because I... Um, just because I had my Knight in rotation. Please don't go Expo, man. Please don't go Expo. If you go Expo, then I don't have my Knight in rotation. If you go knight, then I can... Yeah, let's just rocket down his knight. Look, I know that might seem dumb. Just because it's a negative electric trade for me. But hey, look, once he dropped off that expo, look, I'm going to have my knight in rotation. And then we can earthquake that. And now that we don't have any spells, man. We do not have any spells. Hopefully, hopefully the Roar Delivery drops off on time. Nope. Nah, guys, that is... I think that is good game well played so far. Let's try to kill the expo as soon as possible with the poison. And yeah, guys, maybe we can tie up the game depending on what he drops off in the bag. Maybe, yeah, this guy is just cycling rockets now. This guy just wants to take out my tower so I won't take out his tower. Yeah, look, whoa, whoa, oh my. What I told you guys. This guy just wants to cycle now, man. So I won't be able to take out his whole tower, but... We're still gonna try to earthquake that and fireball all that down. And that is a clean defense. Fireball and nine on top of that. Let's poison down his tower, and I think that still doesn't take it out, right, guys? That still doesn't take it out. Even with log, does that take it out, guys? Poison and log? Oh, it does. Let's go. Let's go. It does. Let's fireball down all this. The Tesla. Oof. We might, we're in the lead right now, guys. Holy. We are in the lead right now with this Expo deck. That is crazy, man. Drop off something. I know you want to drop off something. Okay, you're going to rock it out. Then I'm going to rock it too, man. If you rock it, I rock it. Let's go. What's up then, bro? <laughs> Let's log. Let's even poison. I know he's going to drop off his expo. Yeah, let's go, man. We can earthquake that down. and <laughs> This is looking good right now, folks. Royal delivery on top of his ice wizard. 
Please rock it so I can rock it as well. Rock it there, bro. I dare you to rock it. You're not going to rock it? Well, I am going to rock it. Let's go. Yeah, you can log that. But yeah, guys, right now we are in the lead against this player. Okay, we got the night down in time. Oof. I thought I have... I'm like, I... Oh my god, like I thought I didn't get the night down on time. But hey, I think we already won the match, guys. Let's go. No way we won against the expo player. No freaking way. We just need to rock it down his tower. Cycle the log and the fireball. And yeah, the we... <laughs> the royal... I'm mean, look, that one royal recruit finishes off the tower. And who would have thought this deck... Can actually be an expo deck. Let's go. Okay, so we found our third opponent here. And let's hope this guy has like an expo deck or something like the previous match. Just because as you guys saw there, this deck is absolutely good against expo. You have the earthquake poison and all that. Oh my god, guys. Don't tell me this is the RG deck. Just don't tell me this is the RG deck, guys. We can maybe... <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Let's try to do something crazy here with Fireball that. Try to tornado his RG back. I think that was the best play I could have done there, but this guy's gonna drop off a heal spear, but um but yeah look it's a good thing for us that, that heal spear didn't heal everything up, that RG up. And now we can roar his delivery on top of his skeleton dragons. And yeah guys, this match is not gonna be easy at all. He has um Royal Giant, Fish Boy, Hunter. Roar Recruit, get off one shot. No. At least we can poison down the Hunter to get a little bit of chip damage. And Yellow, where's your Roar Giant, man? Where? Yeah, there's your RG, of course. We can log his Shield Spirit as well. Night that. Tornado his RG back. <laughs> and that RG is still going to get off two hits. Watch, guys. Two hits. Mark my words. Two hits. One hit. Okay. At least it was better than two hits, right? But yeah, this guy is going to have that RG deck, man. Everywhere right now in the meta. Everywhere. That fish boy should get one slap on my tower. Yeah, right? Yeah. We can fireball down his skelly dragons. This guy doesn't know we have fireball. What's up? Oh my god. This guy is just giving me every spell value in the world right now. Does this guy... Has this guy haven't found out that I have seven spells? Because this guy is just crazy. Yeah, that's GG's right there, man. We can Earthquake maybe to slow down the RG just so it won't finish off my tower right now. But yeah, guys, this match is nearly impossible to win with this 7 spells, man. Holy. How am I supposed to win with this deck? <laughs> but you know, guys, it's just for the fun and memes, you know. It's just not... Um, you know, like, this deck is not... Oh, you're supposed to win with this deck. This, you suck if you don't win, no? This deck is just all fun and memes, guys. Yo, look, I... I'm like, I... I actually had fun playing against this guy, man. <laughs> we can roar delivery on top of his fish boy and the skelly dragon. Log the fish boy. And yeah, look... Yep, look, he's gonna drop off that. We can fireball earthquake and natal. We can log the RG just so it, um, look, it won't get one single hit. Yo, guys, um, look, I shouldn't have been doing that the whole game, just cycling two nights if possible. But, you know, it is what it is, man. And slowing down the RG, man. Tornado, tornado, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have been doing that since the beginning. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? I should have been doing that since the beginning, not barely right now when the game is over. But, hey. At least we had some fun playing against this deck, man. Because now he's going to finish me off here. Yeah, you can you can drop off that, man. I don't care. Let's try the NATO. <laughs> the RG still got a hit. <laughs> but, hey, it is what it is, guys. It's all about having fun with this deck. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We found another opponent here. He's going to go with the Bandit. Hopefully, I fireball that. Yes, sir. And no dash on my tower. So that's good. So just please don't be pick a bridge pen. How am I supposed to be pick a bridge pen with this deck, guys? Maybe I'm um, going to poison down his, his magic archers every time. But that's not going to win me the game. 
Okay, look, at least he, what? He dropped off his Electro Wizard first? Well, that was pretty weird, but it is what it is, guys. So, yep, this is confirmed, guys. This is going to be pick a bridge ban. And like I said, this is match is never easy, especially with this deck. If it's not easy with other meta decks, what makes you think it's going to be easy with this deck? But yeah, look, let's activate King Tower. Hopefully, I didn't choke that. Let's go. I didn't choke that. And yeah, guys, that King Tower um, look, activation is going to be crucial for us. Just because it's going to allow us to kill things faster, maybe like a battle ramp. So yeah, we have to earthquake that and log that. Unfortunately, just unfortunately, man, the barb shouldn't get one single hit or one shot. But yeah, look, that's what I was talking about the the King Tower activation. As you guys saw there, the King Tower helped me out there with the barbs. And yeah, but please drop off your magic archer in the back, man. I know you want to. Yeah, this guy's just gonna go with the freaking Pekka. So we have to roar delivery and get to our knight ASAP. We have to get to our knight ASAP right now, man. Hopefully, he dropped off a magic card to do some geometry to my, to that one Rory crew. He's gonna drop off an Electro Wizard, which is not good. I had to tornado just to kill that E Wiz. But yellow, yeah, let's log this, and hopefully, hopefully that. Oh my god, we didn't even get that close to the tower, man. Yeah, guys, how are we supposed to win this match, man? How are we supposed to win this match? <laughs> Let's try to poison, I guess, just to cycle. <laughs> Even Earthquake, I guess. Nah, let's rocket that down. Let's rocket that down, man. Earthquake and Fireball down his Electro Wizard. And this guy's just switching lanes on me now. This guy's just switching lanes, man. But yeah, this is GG's, man. There was no way I was ever winning that match. But like I said, this I mean, this deck is just fun in games, man. <laughs> How am I supposed to win that match, man? With Knight? Poison? It is what it is, man. It is what it is. But hey, at least I'm, look, we already won two matches in the video, right, guys? The first one and the second one, so... Let's get it though. Okay, guys, we found the game here against Chris. We are going to give him the good luck. And let's poison down his ice column. I know it might sound a little bit weird. Let's poison that ice column. Hello there. And it looks like he's going to have Expo, man. We already beat one Expo player in the previous match. Or like not in the previous, but I think in the first or second match. So, hey, we might win this match as well. But yeah, guys, we're going to have to cycle spells on his tower every time if we want to win this Expo match. Let's just Earthquake that. Just because his Expo is not in cycle, so he can't punish me right away. And yeah, guys, um, so yeah, look, it looks like he's going to have 2.9 Expo. 2.9 Expo, man. Let's log that one Archer just because we already have some damage on the right side. And I dare you to go with your Expo, man. I dare you to go with your Expo. Okay. He's going to go with the Expo. He listened to my words. We can poison the expo down. And hopefully, yeah, that Royal Recruit is getting some damage up in there. Let's go. Let's go. No shots on the expo whatsoever. And I have to Earthquake this, man. I don't want to take damage from the archers. I have to Earthquake that. I didn't want to at first. I was like, do I, um, do I Earthquake or no? So, yeah, look, I have to log and then drop off a Royal Delivery to get to my Knight. Because he's about to go Expo anytime soon now. I'm ready, man. Go with your Expo. Ah, uh, look. Let's just roll delivery right here. Let's Knight here in the last possible second. And we're back to Earthquake, boys. We're back to Earthquake, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Let's Earthquake his Expo as well. And that Expo should even get one single lock on our tower. And we are in the lead right now, guys, with this deck. Let's go. Once again, I just want to drop off a Roar Delivery in the back. And then drop off a Knight. Oh, this guy just gave me freaking Fireball value. I'll take that any day, man. And the Ice Golem. Whew. Let's go, man. And we can poison that down too. Hey, I'll take all of those spells. Yeah. What are you doing, man? 
Do you not know that I have seven spells in this deck, man? I can outcycle you. I mean, look, I can outspell you and win the game. I guess this guy doesn't know, but hey. I'll take that any day. Yeah, this guy. I think this guy's barely finding out, man, that I have that deck. <laughs> Anyways, we can poison and earthquake down his expo. Even log that, and that should be GG's well played. This guy took forever to notice that I have seven spells and a nine, but hey, it is what it is, guys. We pick up another easy player. Hey guys, that's two expo wins in this video. I'll take that any day of the week. Let's go, man. That will be the end of the video today, guys. Once again, here is this fun intro deck to use. If you guys would like to use it, go. I'm look. Make sure to give it a go and tell me how it goes for you in the comments down below. I'm look, I had a little bit of fun. I mean, look, I had a lot of fun using this deck today, especially with those two expo games and the other win. And yeah, guys, this deck is actually fun to play. But, um, but yeah, look, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers um, before the end of 2020 to help me reach my goal, guys. Giveaway included at 500 subs, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, other than that, I hope all of you guys have an amazing, amazing, wonderful rest of your day. Keep on spreading those positive vibes. Make sure to go check me out on my Twitch. Um, look at Lester one two three underscore cr. So yeah, guys, make sure to um, make sure to check me out on Twitch and give me a follow if you would like. I try to stream mostly every day for you guys. So come, I'm um, gonna come hang out and vibe with me. But yeah, I'm um, look. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah.